Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And just a quick tip today to help with new Blender 3.0 and Cycles X update. Uh, quick disclaimer, I'm not a power user. Blender is just a part of my workflow. So this advice is really geared towards people like me who just need basic renders to create illustrations with. So if you're not seeing an improvement in Cycles render times with the new 3.0 update, it's because they've increased the default samples on new projects to 1024 in the viewport and 4096 in the renders which is really too much for what I need. Um, for perspective, the old defaults were 32 in viewport and 128 in render. So whenever you start a new project in Cycles, just come over to the Render Properties tab here on the right and take this down. I usually set viewport to 32 and then render I set all the way down to 10, which we'll see in a second. Just make sure denoise on render is on. The reason I set sampling in viewport higher is because I don't like this weird distortion that you get when you're in the viewport and denoise is turned on. So I just turn that off because I, the noise doesn't bother me. So it's better without it. If you don't know what any of this means, all we really need to know is that the lower samples create faster renders, but with the trade-off being more noisy images. You can see in the comparisons on screen at the old default of 128, it's already taken almost five minutes to render. I didn't even finish a render at 4096 because it was going to take over two hours, which is way too long and it's unnecessary for what we need. The good news is that you can actually go pretty low. As long as denoise is turned on, it will still be a fairly clean image. I went all the way down to 10 samples with my scene. You can see it's indistinguishable from 128 samples with denoise on, and it cut render times from five minutes to 23 seconds. Now you may need more samples if you're doing animations or crazy high detailed scenes that need more light information, like complex hair systems or subsurface scattering. But for basic renders that you're gonna paint over anyway in Photoshop like I do, you can get much faster render times and still get decent images by lowering your samples. So that's it, I hope that helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one.